Hey, I'm LP Wilson. Today, I'm going to show you how to design your own base for a miniature in Blender. Never used Blender before? No problem. This is perfect for beginners. Today, I'm designing a base for this gorgeous Artisan Guild mini that did not come with one. All right, this is the one I made. I'm gonna show you how I did it. First, go to Blender. When it Blender starts, it's gonna have a cube and some other things there. Just click on them, press delete. Say add mesh and cylinder, and you'll find yourself with a screen that looks like this. Now, don't do anything else. First, press this button here that says add cylinder. This is gonna let you customize the cylinder. This whole process will only be a couple clicks. First, I'm gonna click here where it says vertices and I'll type in 360. For radius, I'm gonna type in 25. I'm looking for a 50 millimeter radius for this. And I don't know why, but for some reason, it works out perfectly if you do it in meters. So if I click radius and type in 25 meters, this is gonna work out. If you know why, please let me know in the comments. And for the depth, I'm gonna type three. Again, if whatever is in meters now will actually be in millimeters when you put it into your slicer program. So this is fine. GW bases are between three and four millimeters high. So I'm gonna start with this. All right, zooming out with the scroll wheel gives me a great starting place. Okay, all my key presses are gonna be down here in the corner. I'm gonna go to edit mode by pressing tab and face select mode, you can press three to do that and select the top face. As I mentioned, only a few clicks from here on out. First, I am going to decrease this top face. I'm gonna press S to resize and just pull it in a little bit. Just eyeball however much of an angle you want on that base. If you want a big angle, you can do that. I think I'll go with something like uh, this. Okay, now we are going to inset it using I and for this, sometimes it's nice to have um, a set amount. If you ever want to say, I want to inset it by one millimeter or maybe a half millimeter, you can do that here. I'll inset it by 0 0.5 millimeters. Okay, now we are going to extrude up by pressing E. I press E and I'm going to press Z as well to lock in Make sure that it's only moving up when you press extrude. So just, just E should do it. And the same thing, I'm just gonna make sure that I extrude up by 0 0.5 millimeters. And that's it. At this point, you can export as, as an STL, move it into Lychee, and then support it using the support method that I say in my supporting bases video, which I'll include in a link down below. One final step, if you are ambitious, looking at the bottom of this, if you'd like to, you can inset and extrude up to give a little space to put a magnet in or just to save on resin. If you wanna do that, press I for inset, boop. Okay. Beautiful. Press E for extrude, make sure it's locked on Z and just pull it up just a little bit and I'm going to resize it with S to give it a nice shallow thing there. Um, I've done this on my bases in the past and it just saves resin and it's easy. All right, once you export as an STL, you'll be good to go and bring it into Lychee and it'll look just like this. All right, thanks for watching. I'm LP Wilson. See you next time.